Micaela Scorbi. Thank you for joining us live here at Science News. Today's story takes us all the way to Cyprus, where sightings of dead fish were reported by people visiting the island's national park. People were asked to avoid contact with the waters until further examinations are conducted. Our team is now at the site. From where they will be giving us a live report. Michaela, can you hear us? Hello everyone, we are here at the lake in Atalasa National Park in Nicosia, Cyprus. Examinations from members of the Forest Department of Cyprus concluded that the emergence of said dead fish at the lake's shores was a result of the release of cyanotoxins from the heaps of cyanobacteria present in the lake. As some people joining us now have some questions about what cyanobacteria actually are. Uh, do you mind explaining that term for us? According to specialists, cyanobacteria are photosynthetic microorganisms found mainly in surface water environments. High concentrations of nutrients and warmer temperatures favor the formation of harmful cyanobacteria blooms known as cyanohabs. These harmful cyanobacteria have the capability of releasing a plethora of cyanotoxins which have a negative impact on aquatic biodiversity as they directly affect fish and aquatic life wellness as well as cause serious health effects on humans and animals that come in contact with the toxic water. Now, in my understanding, government officials were not in a position to find viable solutions to this recurring matter. So, when faced with this dreadful news, two young students from Limassol decided to step up and become part of the solution to this worldwide concern. With us today on the show is Mikaela and Michaela to present their work. Hello and thank you for having us. We decided to take up on this project after visiting the lake in Athalassa. Our goal was an immediate and effective treatment method as a safeguarding of this biotope is of great significance to our country in order to avoid further contamination of nearby lakes. It's important to find a viable treatment for cyanobacterial blooms in order to protect the human and animal health from the various effects caused by cyanotoxins. We performed two experiments in collaboration with the Cyprus University of Technology. During our first experiment, we tested the effect that humic acid sodium salt has on the release of hydrogen peroxide by calcium peroxide granules. The difference in the second experiment was the addition of the cyanobacterial cells to test the efficiency of calcium peroxide granules as a treatment. From our results, we concluded that calcium peroxide granules in the highest concentration of humic acid sodium salt is an effective treatment method for destroying the cyanobacterial cells. To conclude, the overall cost of our experiment was low, costing less than 0.5 euros for each bench scale treatment, suggesting this could be an affordable treatment method in larger areas of water. Our treatment has no way of negatively impacting the ecosystem and the survival of all aquatic species. That's about the basis of our project. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Mikaela and Michaela. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you all for watching Science News. Have a nice day.